57-year-old Fernando Padilla is struggling to breathe. He has pulmonary fibrosis, an incurable scarring of his lungs. Right now I can't. I can't wash my car. I can't, I can't uh, break the yard. I, I can't do nothing. Fernando was a carpenter for almost 30 years. He helped build this very hospital. Here I was picking up, uh, you know, 100, 200, 100, 150 pound beams and, you know, I can't even pick up a 30, 40 pound uh, grandkid. There is no effective medical therapy uh, for this type of lung disease and it always ends in, a, in a respiratory failure and death if we don't transplant patients. A couple times he had passed out. I almost lost him. He was suffocating. And to see that, it's awful. Thank you so much. But tonight, Fernando's family, including the grandkids, wish him well. Tonight, Fernando will receive new donor lungs at Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center, and he will make history. Fernando will be the first patient in the country to receive donor lungs through a groundbreaking technology. It is a revolutionary technology in a way that organs are now being preserved in a way that was never possible. We are maintaining the donor organ in a normal, near normal, physiologic state. For decades, donor lungs have been transported in a cooler on ice. Fernando's new lungs arrive still warm, still breathing in a box. The lungs are getting oxygen, the lungs are getting blood, they're kept warm, and they are as close as possible as they could be left in a, in a live state. When the lungs arrived in a breathing state, it is so real to see an organ that is, uh, that is moving and breathing, even for some of us who have been in the field for several decades. They got a new technology of bringing them still, still breathing and stuff, and I think that'd be better than, than trying to wake them back up again. And I just, I'm just following technology, that's all. This new breathing lung technology is now in the pivotal phase of a worldwide clinical trial. It comes on the heels of a similar breakthrough technology at UCLA, where doctors successfully transport warm, nourished, beating hearts. We're hoping that this study, it is a, a study, does show uh, improvement in, uh, in outcomes as far as how these lungs work when they're transplanted into, into our patients. Deep breath. Three months after his historic double lung transplant, Fernando can breathe and already walks two miles a day with ease. I'm feeling real good. Feeling uh, stronger, getting stronger every day. The Padillas are grateful to their doctors, but they reserve the greatest thanks for the donor and the donor's family. For giving, for allowing us to have life again as a family. Uh, that's what lung transplant is really represented for all of us in this field because it allows us the opportunity to really give people back their normal lives. I don't think words can describe the level of gratification that a team feels when a patient does so well after such a life-changing operation.